Hey guys, I'm Cheryl Locke with Off the Jacks, and I'm here with Paul Carfasi, and he's going to show us around the latest rat rod that's going to be on the streets of Las Vegas. So let's take a look. All right. Anyway, what this is is a uh, 1940 Ford extended cab. Um, Art Goldstrom did it. Gave it to my buddy David Alexander, and he's building it for his son, but he ran out of time. So he gave it to me to go ahead and build the thing. We did, we did do a time-lapse video on this, so you'll be able to see that. But what this is, is, is like I said, is a 40 Ford. It's got a 383 stroker motor in it, uh, a turbo 400 transmission. It's got an 8.8 .8 rear end in it. It is all airbagged. And it took me right at about 10 weeks so far to build this thing complete frame. I mean, you name it, I had to build it. The gas pedal, the brake pedal, all this rear suspension. And we can come back here and I could show you some of that. It's kind of trick. It's not really tires that we're going to be running on it just because he has to get it up, up north um, for personal reasons. But anyway, what we have is got an air tank for the compressors, shocks, naturally, all the exhaust, uh, wishbone rear, uh, three link rear end, 8.8 .8, um, Ford rear end in it. Radiator, as you notice, is in the back. The tailgate does open and close. I just got some bolts in it right now for that. Built the gas tank for it. And he wanted to, trying to, if you notice the way the rear end is set back with the cab, we we're going to put the, the fenders that are teardrop that goes with this truck. But with the white tires, I couldn't put them on because he wants to take the truck this weekend. So the way the rear end is set, it looks kind of funny to me. I think we need to move the rear end back about eight inches to set over the cab and put a different set of fenders on it just to make it look better. But I did get the running boards on. And of course, inside, it's pretty... Plain Jane right now, the seat, as the floor is not finished yet, but we got a steering wheel, all the gauges that we need. It is an automatic, and the thing will lay on the ground. Uh, we do have a lot of work to do. It doesn't even have a windshield in it yet. So it is just a, uh, a shell, but it is a runner. I've already driven it. And of course, We've got the cool little controllers here, so if you wanted to, I just hit one button, oh, wrong way, and dumps everything to the ground. And of course, the rear bags are a little slow because they only have like 11 pounds in them, and the front bags have right at about 90 pounds in them. But as you can see, this thing lays right on the frame. So the running boards, the running boards on, I mean, I don't think you can put a piece of paper in between that. So it's like, it's on the ground. So it's laying, definitely laying frame. And so we had to play with the front fenders again. I had to raise the fenders up a little bit because as low as this thing sits, it does have a drop axle in it. And they call a suicide drop axle where the steering rod is in the front because the way this oil pan is in this motor, it is in, <clears throat> it drops to the back because the Ford motors have the oil pump in the back. but. We had to move the steering rod in the front to clear everything, which with the fenders off, you'd be able to see it. But we're trying to keep that 40s look with the grill. He doesn't want to run a hood. Of course, we haven't had headlights or nothing in it yet. But it's basically a cool little car uh, to have fun with. I can fire it up and show you. It does, oh, one other thing it does, it has an electric water pump. And electric fans so if this thing does overheat you can always cool it down by just running the, the the fans and the water pump and it hasn't got very hot at all and it is 100 degrees outside and I've ran it up and down my back alley here a few times um, and I don't know if you could see if it's hard to see way down inside there but these little airbags which is the same ones that I have on my rat in the front which come off a day cab semi and it has the big semi uh, in dump uh, airbags on it but it's a cool little car i mean it's uh it was a project 
but Dave didn't have the time to build it himself because he's still working on his wife's car and uh, he's doing an awesome job but he needed help with this so I jumped right in and said yeah let's let's get her done and it's running it runs I can let me get it up off the ground a little bit <coughs> Need some air in the front end. But anyway, there. <sighs> That sounds awesome. It actually does. It's got a good little cam in it. It's uh, I don't know how built it is. I didn't build the motor, but everything was just trial and error putting it together. He had a certain measurement that he wanted to go from front to rear. He brought this motor on a Model A frame with these tires and the fenders, and he says, "I needed to move the rear and move back one inch." And these are the measurements, so I had it sitting over here in the corner, measuring, going back and forth, as you can see when, when you see the uh, time lapse on the thing, going outside, measuring the cab, coming back in. But we had to keep with that certain, so if you wanted to put those rear fenders on there, it would match, like the front is. So, and like I said, we had to put a spacer in between there because the thing sat so low. Um, but other than that, that's uh, about it. They're going to take it up and cruise it around, let his dad see it, and bring it back, and then I will get it back here, and we will finish it. And so it should be done, hopefully, in another month or so of what he wants to do by the time he gets the interior, the windows, and maybe two months. It depends. Um, but other than that, that's it. They'll have a whole rat rod family. Yes. Our rat rod family is growing in Vegas. Yes. <laughs> We have one family that keeps playing and switching rat rods back and forth, but that's okay. It's in the family. So what we have is two, four, five, six, five, five rat rods, six rat rods. Well, you get David's three with Teresa's. Oh, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... And, and then uh, the other guy that's that comes down there to the... Yep. So that's seven. So when we have a cruise, you're going to hear them. Oh, yeah, definitely. So be sure to watch the Bone Shakers page on Facebook so that when we have cruises in Las Vegas, you can come out and see not only David's new truck, but, of course, you're going to see One Bad Rat, which if you've not ever seen that on my channel, then you just haven't watched anything. And this is going to be changed, too. <laughs> I like to play around a little bit. I mean, I got enough power, but I want more power. So I'm getting rid of my carburetors. And I'm moving the hat down a little bit. I'm going to have all the lines going to the hat and inject into the manifold without carburetors. So in other words, I'm going mechanical fuel injection. And uh, I'll have a little bit more fun with it. But it's still going to be just as loud. Yeah, it might be more snappier. But it definitely is as loud as it's... And it'll have that same lope, oh, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You always, that blower lope is, you know, everybody, you know. You know, it's funny, though. You see a lot of these people that have just an injector hat sticking out of their car, and everybody thinks they have a blower on the car. Oh, it's got a blower. It's got an injector hat. But That would just... be me. But I did <laughs> you know the what the word lope. <laughs> everybody has their own look on what their vehicle, what their vehicle wants to look like. And every vehicle is different. Every vehicle is cool doesn't matter what you do to it. It's your own design in your head. They're all bitching. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. I mean, everybody has a different taste of how they want to do things, but it's your own taste, and it is the coolest shit to see one of these cars going down the road. It's like when I first built this, I told my wife, I says, think about this. We drove, we're driving something that I built. And she goes, that's scary. 
<laughs> and there's when it comes to rat rods, there's no two alike. No, you, you could I not don't even. Care if I built two exactly side by side, which I did, the one that Keith has had, um, they were identical, but they were totally different. That's why we love rat rods. They're cool. It's not like you have a, a Chevy Impala or a Mustang or a Camaro. They're all the same. They have different features. They have different things they put on them. But a car looks the same all the way through. A rat rod is totally different. It's just, it's whatever you find to put on the car is what it is. Yeah, and we've seen some of those that have taken that thought way too far. I won't mention anybody named Chris in Arizona, but that's okay. Or David Alexander. Yeah, but David makes a lot of his. So that's the thing with this truck is I'm sure that he will. Oh, he'll tweak it. He he'll will. He'll fine tune this thing. He'll do all his little trick stuff that he does and he'll do that. Well, I don't know because this is his son's car and his son has his own taste. And I don't think he's going to let it. I don't think his dad's going to touch this car, to be honest with you. Yeah, but I know his son helped him on Teresa's car, so I have a feeling there's there's going to be a little bit of that. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. So there you have it. There's going to be a new rat rod out and about soon. It was built fairly quickly, but I know you've been off work, so that helped. Oh, yeah. But there you go, guys. Be sure to subscribe because you'll be seeing both of these out on cruises and... And we got one more though too. One more? One more rat being built. As soon as this one leaves, Ferrari. Oh, the Fer the Ferrari. Yes. We've been waiting on that. Yeah, that one is gonna be pretty trick when that's done. It's just spending my time helping Dave out here, getting this thing done, and a few other jobs have been coming in and out, but that is gonna be Badass. That's all I can say. There is not one rat rod with a Ferrari motor anywhere that I've seen in the country. There will be. Well, yeah, there will be. It, the motor's sitting in there. Yes. We'll get to that later because I have a feeling that's going to be a little while out. Yes. Well, thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Thank and you. And can't wait to see what's coming up next with the Ferrari. Yes. And then I, I'm looking at it this way. You're going to have to let me drive one of them because you can't drive both at the same time. Take whatever one you want to take. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and check out Bone Shaker's page on Facebook for cruises in the Las Vegas area.